Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Here with a challenge run that I think could go fantastically or absolutely horribly. This is called Knight of the Knife, as suggested by YouTube user Soul Gaming Dude. That's Soul S O U L, not S E O U L, like he's South Korean, or S O L E, like he's a huge fan of either shoes or fish. In any case, this is four mini mushes, which has turned me invisible. Mom's knife to both give me a lot of damage and something that I could actually use as kind of a metric of where I'm standing. Uh, as well as some other devil items like the pact, the mark, and the pentagram. Now, we cannot go to item rooms, we cannot go to shops, but we can take boss items provided they are HP upgrades. HP upgrades are the only thing that we are capable of taking. Yeah, I'm gonna take the lucky toe, I guess, because, I mean, that doesn't really factor into things. But basically, uh, this is uh, just a run where the compensation for the fact that I can do crazy damage, like you just saw right there, and we rerolled that and just got a tears upgrade, which means we can't take it, unfortunately. Uh, the compensation for the fact that I can't see myself, or let's frame it this way. The compensation for the fact that I can do crazy damage is the fact that I unfortunately cannot see myself, which is going to make it much more likely that I'm going to dodge into some awful, awful situations or, you know, find myself incapable of killing enemies. So I'm basically playing, you know, alternatively as like a Casper the Friendly Ghost run here. I'm also going to take the small rock. I realize it might seem like I'm going against the spirit of the challenge run, but... If we were actually looking at the comment that he posted in order to convey the run, it simply said no uh, item rooms, only HP upgrades from bosses, and no shops, nothing else. He also explicitly said if we get to the chest, we can take all of the items available in the chest, so that's cool. I'm not sure if there was any mention of deals with the devil. I think it would probably be in our best interest to not take them, just to keep things a little bit more fair, but who knows, maybe that comes across as completely arbitrary. I've been hit, in case you didn't notice that there. That's okay, because everything is going well so far. We got nothing in here. Again, item rooms off the table. I'm very interested to see how this run works. Um, there's been two very commonly suggested invisibility runs. Uh, one of them has been basically this, like some combination of invisibility from Mini Mush and Mom's Knife. And the other one that's common is all invisibility, but you also get like a fourth level Meat Boy. But you don't get Mom's Knife, which means you can't actually tell where you are except... Uh, that you can actually see where the Meat Boy is around you. Maybe you take like a level 4 Meat Boy to give you damage and a level 2 Meat Boy to kind of give you an idea of where you stand. I don't know. I've never actually looked into those too far because uh, obviously I have kind of a preference towards Mom's Knife whenever it's possible for me to get it. But for now, everything is going well, but this is definitely, definitely going to be one of those runs where things can go terribly wrong all of a sudden. But uh, our compensation, of course, is my favorite kind of compensation. We may take a lot of damage, but we're also capable of doing a lot of damage, like an insane amount of damage, as you can see, in an unbelievably short period of time. So that is an HP upgrade. We will definitely take that. We will definitely take our Spirit Hearts. I want to see if maybe we're fighting Krampus in here. We are not. We can reroll this. I don't think we can take any of the items, because uh, that would be against, potentially, the spirit of the challenge run. Book of Belial would be a lot of fun, but it is also uh, entirely unnecessary. We're down to the catacombs. Every time that I load into a level and I can't see Mom's knife for a split second, I get freaked out and I think, oh, so we're just going to be fucked now then, are we? And we're going to continue onwards here. Again, this is a run that I expect is going to end sooner rather than later. I mean, once we get into rooms where there's going to be a lot of enemies, it's going to be very difficult for me to judge my position. Like, if I'm, I'm trying to think of situations where there's like a lot of silkworms coming for us or like a lot of flies all at once. Took some damage there. I wish we flashed a little bit when we took damage, because as is right now, it's difficult for me, after I get hit, to figure out where I stand, and a lot of the time in this run is spent with, um, Mom's Knife being shot, which basically means that I have no idea where I stand. When I just hold Mom's Knife, it's clear where I stand, but when I shoot it, it's almost impossible. I'm also getting this weird kind of psychological feeling of, of like, I'm a disembodied voice right now, which is really weird. It's almost as if, like, when I'm playing normally, I attribute my thoughts to Isaac as I'm playing or something. But now I'm like, there's no avatar for me to transmit my thoughts through. It doesn't feel right, man. It's weirded me out just a little bit. But I'm going to get over it. I'm going to be the disembodied voice of Mom's Knife this time. I'm not sure how I feel about the, the suggested name for this run, though. Knight of the Knife? I mean, I get it. It's kind of cool. But I can't help but feel like there's something better, like... I don't know. Well, who's, like, a Norman... Bates type run named after Psycho. I don't know. It's gonna have to spend some more time in the drawing board, quite frankly. I don't have the, the time nor desire uh, to rename this, but suffice it to say, I will probably take a look at some of the comments that 
indicate better titles. Not that this title is bad. I think that both the title and the name suggestion are fine. I just feel like this is one of those times where there's a run name like on the tip of my tongue that would just enca encapsulate the spirit of the run a little bit better. But I guess that is neither here nor there. I totally missed that we were on a uh, XL floor here. So there's two item rooms we're not going to be able to go to. Only one shop that we're not going to be able to go to, which is the norm, of course. Oh, I took some damage. Two damages from Double Spider there. Damage normally is not quantifiable like that, but hey. We're going to shoot the TNT. We're going to shoot the TNT. And third time's a charm. We're going to shoot this TNT. Amazingly, we have more spirit arts than I think I ever had on that last run where I had both the Relic and the Miter. And there's an Eternal Heart, which we should be able to turn into an HP upgrade, provided uh, the rest of this floor doesn't go horribly, horribly wrong. And that is going to be... Oh, we can't get over there. I thought I had a ladder. But even if I did have a ladder, I don't think I would have been able to get over there. But we're going to go down now, because I think maybe we'll reach the end uh, on one of these tangents downwards. I may be incorrect, though. I, I oftentimes on XL floors end up doing all of the exploration just completely by accident, which is unfortunate. You know what, Judgment? Maybe you can give me some HP upgrades here. I may be a killer, but uh, I'm not stingy. Oh, you're going to blow yourself up, you idiot. Well, it's going to increase the chances of us getting a deal with the devil anyway. Which may or may not factor into the actual run as a whole. Uh, did I... Oh, I didn't blow up. I thought I blew up the bridges for myself. But actually, I guess it cemented the bridges for me to be able to go over there and get the bomb and whatnot. So we're just gonna... Oh, I got hit by... I really thought Mom's Knife would kill the conga liners in one hit. But I guess I was mistaken on that somehow. And we're... Look, <laughs> the map is already stretching in to like the actual content of the level. It's really freaking me out just following this disembodied knife over and over. But so far it's like, oh my god. That is crazy good luck. 31 cents just sitting there. Three dimes. Uh, and we will now shoot this TNT without hitting ourselves. So we'll now sh shoot the TNT without hitting ourselves. How about this one? Can we do that? I'm really scared about how this is going to pan out. There we go. Okay, we're safe. Where's our boss room, though? Okay, there, finally. Well, not finally. That ended up being not too long of a floor. But still. Okay, you are going to be deceased any second now. Cool. Okay, who's our boss? Well, both bosses, I guess. I was kind of hoping at some point maybe we'll get one cube of meat. HP upgrade. Beautiful. But we can't take a cube of meat, I guess, because it's um, outside of the suggested items or, you know, allowed items for this run. Permitted items. I am continuing to take some terrible damage, which is kind of to be expected, I guess, given my lack of skill of fighting this boss. However, there we go. Another HP upgrade? No, but we can reroll, and we get a coin purse, which is not an HP upgrade. What does the Angel Room have for us? Let me get Sacred Tears. No, Scapular. We can't take it anyway. I just wanted to see for curiosity's sake. And we are going to head down to the depths. Game might freeze. We might have a pink glitch. We might have an XL floor. Who the hell knows anymore? Isaac not responding is basically the story of my challenge run life from time to time. So far, I like this run, though. I think we've got a decent chance uh, to at least beat the chest. Sorry, at least beat the cathedral. The chest is, as always, a huge leap in difficulty beyond that. Uh, but if we get past the cathedral, anything could happen. Right now, we have the health for it. Uh, I would love to get a compass or a map somehow. Finally, the glitch has figured itself out. It's only the depths part one. I totally forgot that we had that eternal heart as well. Okay, so just play it cool. This is a room where you've definitely got to be a little bit cautious. Because I've got to always... Oh, I got hit there. I've always got to know where I stand in relation to that bomb fly. So I'm being a little bit overly cautious, as you can see right now. But I think that's in my best interest. And we ended up navigating that completely okay. Now we can just speed run to the boss if we want to. Uh, as best as we can, anyway, considering we don't have any uh, compass or map. I used a key to go to the item room. That was a total accident. Don't crucify me. I ended up not going, or not taking the item anyway. It was just a total accident that I couldn't see where I was and ended up bumping into the door. I apologize. It was not intentional. So we're just going to back it up here. Leapers are one of the enemies that I kind of felt would represent the biggest threat for me. So to kill them, oh, I took damage there anyway, but to kill them easily feels good. But we are almost out of spirit hearts, which means we're reaching that point where the input of me getting... Spirit Hearts is, or is, uh, the input of me getting health in general, I should say, is less 
than the output of me losing health to these remaining enemies. But hopefully this Tinted Rock serves to shift that balance back in our favor a little bit. I think, I'd, yeah, I did take some damage there, but we're going to drop this down. We get a golden chest, which could potentially have something okay. Well, more keys and money. So the money's basically worthless. The key is fine. At least we broke even on that, except for the use of one bomb. But, you know. I've taken worse deals, let's put it that way. Now, I do need some hearts, because, again, I'm starting to lose health way faster than I'm gaining it. Hopefully that does not become a common trend. I'm starting to regret saying I was pretty sure we're going to get through the cathedral. Let's put it this way. If I don't beat Mom's Knife, I will be very displeased. Uh, with my performance on this run. Did I say Mom's Knife? If I don't beat Mom's Heart, I'll be very displeased with my performance on this run. Let's see what this pill is. Hopefully, Balls of Steel. Tears down. Not a huge loss, but certainly, you know, worse than any kind of benefit we could have gotten. But if we're gonna get some stat down when we have Mom's Knife, Range Down and Tears Down are okay with me. Speed Down is kind of a bigger problem, potentially. Now we are okay from a health perspective, so we're just going to make our way up to what I assume is going to be the boss room. And we're going to hope that we fight a, a boss that A, is easy enough, and B, is not going to give us a predetermined item. Because we absolutely need uh, HP upgrades if we're going to have uh, any sort of chance at making this run work for us in the near future. Didn't want to bump into that blood bank by accident. Again, I'm fast enough at this point that I kind of lost myself. I'm looking forward to hopefully getting down to the chest. Because if I get down to the chest, unlimited keys, uh, if I get down to the chest, I can finally take items again. But it's, I don't know, some of these fights are going to be very difficult, I think. Uh, like the Isaac fight, and the blue baby fight, dodging those shots without being able to see yourself is, is very difficult. Or I anticipate it's going to be very difficult anyway. Finally, there is our boss room, okay. So it's time to shit or get off the pot, as the case may be, I guess. We are going to try to uh, kill Mom, which should not be that difficult. But the only thing is, it's going to be difficult to dodge... Oh, wait. Never mind. This is not Mom. This is the pony. This is the worst of both worlds. It's the opposite of that Justin Bieber concert film. Uh, so we're not going to get anything that we could possibly use on this floor, unfortunately. Down to the... Oh. Down to the next floor. Now we're going to have to deal with a Mom boss fight, provided I find it. Uh, sooner rather than later. Because, I mean, there is always the potential that I could just completely fuck up this run beyond belief and not even make it to Mom. Uh, it's unlikely at this point, but it, it's certainly not outside of the realm of possibility. So we get more red hearts that we can't use yet, but I do appreciate that because there's always the chance that in the fairly near future that will become important to me. All this money that's completely worthless. What's the use, man? Can't take it with you. More keys. Those are actually potentially useful, although we only need four of them for the chest. And then whatever else we have left over is just for uh, golden chest usage. More of these silkworms. I don't mind fighting these guys like this, because Mom's Knife easily takes them out in one hit. Now, I just can't see where I am in relation to the creep here, which worries me uh, a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean substantially. But as long as they stay on the other side of the map, I am a happy camper. Beautiful. We can't get to that, and we have reached a dead end. But it's a dead end that we reached without taking any loss of life ourselves, which is always the most important thing. And again, my confidence is not at an all-time high. I would definitely not describe it as such. Uh, but we're not in a bad position, even though I did just take some damage there. We're in a better position than average, but a worse position than I hoped, if that makes any sense. We're just going to check for secret room. Just on the off chance that I could use that to get into that boss trap room, pick up HP, and maybe have a little bit greater chance of success. Although, you know, six hearts is, is fairly good. At least for 2011 era Isaac. It's not so good for 2012 chest era Isaac, though. So I am a little bit lower on health than full. That's alright. Things don't start to get dire quite yet. We're gonna get more red hearts. I can always backtrack and get more health if necessary. When you see me backtracking to get health, that's when things are starting to go wrong. Or I'm starting to get a little concerned. Well, that extra spirit heart is a nice touch, plus the bomb. Uh, I didn't pick up the left hand. The reason mostly being, like, laziness, because I know we're going to have to pick up uh, the cathedral. Sorry, uh, the, the Polaroid soon anyway. So why even waste our time? Similarly, why waste our time picking up that one cent? Even if I come across a fortune teller or a useful slot machine, I'm not going to stand there and play it for 51 cents. 
or 52, so there's no real loss there. Uh, I don't think we should be able to play Judgment within the parameters of the run, even though I did it earlier. I apologize for that. And it's Red Mom, which is actually uh, the pair to Method Mom. No, we're almost done with this fight already. It's, it's our ideal mom boss fight, that's for sure. We get an HP upgrade. Beautiful for us. We get the Polaroid. We get to go down to the next floor with hope in our hearts that perhaps we'll be able to make something good happen here. I would love to just get like a single full health pill to improve my chances. Um, we're just going to wait again for the game to stop having a glitch, hopefully. Uh, what can I say? You can never say that this game is not glitchy, but I do like the, the aspect uh, of the glitch where when it actually loads in, you get that picture of like all the bosses in the background that you very rarely get. See? It's quite nice. Uh, compared to the norm. We are only on the wound part one. But it's okay. Uh, these enemies have the potential to represent some serious dickishness, given that I can't see where I am in relation to them to dodge their shots or even to aim my own shots. Brain guys are totally fine. Pinky eye, we can't do anything at all with. So I'm basically just bum rushing the boss room here. First boss, I'm hoping Skolex. I was gonna say Pin, which would have been. Incredibly unlikely, considering that's a boss you can only fight on the first floor. Also, not just unlikely, but offensive to Skolex. That I would compare him to the easiest boss in the game. Actually, Skolex might very well be easier than Pin, in all actuality. And the only thing is, I would, I, in order to validate that claim, I would actually need to fight... Either fight Pin with late game items, or fight Skolex with early game items. Which is not that likely to happen. Not because, you know bad runs or amazing runs don't happen, but because I'm too lazy to set one of those up in the cheat engine just to test something that isn't really all that important to me in the first place. Uh, we're gonna kill the guts first. If we get the good opportunities to do so, we're just gonna take out Larry Jr. like that. And we'll continue taking out the guts, and then the Larry Jr. will go down as well. I'm hoping for some more spirit hearts, of course. Now, you can't always get what you want. I've taken some damage there. Uh, but if you try sometimes, you just might get a spirit heart on the wound part one. I believe that's how the song goes. It's been a while. I took a fair amount of damage there, more than I anticipated for sure. Is this... What kind of pill is this? I'm going to save it for now, because it could possibly be full health. It could also be bad trip, which effectively means it's full health. Uh, it could also be health down, though, which could potentially kill me. Let's just use it. Puberty. Okay, I'm glad I got it out of the way, so I wasn't, like, constantly in the back of my mind thinking that it was going to be an inevitable boon at some point. Inevitable Boon, by the way, seems like a great name for the autobiography of the dude who wrote and produced uh, Mortal Kombat. But I'm sure he's taken something else. Probably like Mortal Kombat or Immortal Kombat or something like that. Immortal Kombat would be an okay name for an autobiography of that sort. We're getting a little bit low on health and I'm getting a little bit low on creative ideas for commentary, apparently. Still doing okay, though. Certainly, I don't anticipate our run to end here on the wound part one. Unless I make a monumental mistake. Or we end up fighting, perhaps, uh, the Fallen. Although, I should be able to kill the Fallen really quickly. Given the items at my disposal right now. And I'm starting to get used to the fact that I'm completely invisible. Like, it doesn't even bother me anymore. I kind of just have a, an Isaac in my head. That I'm using for my vision here. And I don't think a lot of the damage that I've taken, I don't think too much of it is actually from me just not knowing where I am. I think it's mostly damage that I would have taken regardless uh, of the conditions of the run. Can I make this work? Nah, I can't quite reach him. What if I get in here? Ah, sneaky devil! Alright, he's dead. More red hearts, please. Juice me up a little bit before our boss fight. I want to be back to full health for the next floor. Just because, obviously, that gives me a fresh start. I had a fresh start going into this floor, and we all know how that worked out, so... Uh, any advantage that I can get... ...works in my favor. Also, I can tell where I am... ...based on where these guys are. Oh! Almost took some damage there, but managed to regain my composure just in time. Finally, we've reached our boss room. This is a tricky room! From a damage perspective. Or from avoiding getting hit perspective. I'm just watching the flies to kind of see how they're making this work. Now, we definitely should not be at too much risk. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna fight the boss. We might as well not mess around on this floor anymore. It's gonna be Teratoma. Uh, and this is a boss that we should be able to kill fairly easily, but it's also a boss that's fairly difficult to dodge, you know? So, 
Anything could happen here. I'm just backing it up. I'm focusing intently, which is why uh, you don't hear too much commentary or inane bullshit coming out of my mouth for once. And moreover, whenever I see that spiders are getting close to my location, I just hold the knife out in front of me, let them walk into it, which legally absolves me uh, of all responsibility for their death. We've got another red heart, or half red heart, from defeating the boss. We've got another HP upgrade, which is fantastic. What do we have from the Devil Room? I'm actually kind of hoping to fight Krampus. We've got Primstone Guppy's Tail. We'll reroll those. Nail Spirit of the Night. I'm not going to take either of them, but that represents possibly uh, the greatest series of Deal with the Devil items in a long time. And oh no, we've got Curse of Darkness. Maybe that's the best name for this run. Curse of Darkness. I'm trying, what can I say? Uh, and we're just gonna hope that we are coming across the, this the right way. Again, I feel like Mom's Heart, easy boss fight given the, the power that we have in our hands. And our ability to put the pussy in a sarcophagus. Come at me, double fly, or double spider. Apparently I need to go back to entomology class. We're just gonna play it cool here. Should be able to kill Wrath really easily. The only question is, can I notice when he's getting close to me? And the answer to that question is not always. There we go. Knock it in there. He's basically dead. I can't believe he's alive. There's like no space left on his health bar. There we go. He drops Mr. Boom. We don't want Mom's Pearl. I mean, we do, because he drops more spirit hearts, but mostly we just want the Polaroid. Uh, and I'm gonna reroll that. If it was an HP upgrade, I probably would have taken it. Might as well be 100% honest there. Come on, Gish. Just get killed. Ah, that worked out fantastically for us. And the Mom's, Hoss Mom's Heart boss fight should be coming up fairly soon, but I've got to pick the right direction, which has not been my strong suit today. We've gone upper right. Why don't we try lower now? Uh, and it could be lower all the way down, or it could be... Ah, we should probably go for the dead end first. Or, sorry, uh, for the like longest duration first. The longest tail is maybe a good way to put it. We can get an attack fly here. Um, which we can't actually pick up, of course, given the conditions of the run, but um, we could possibly earn an attack fly at least, which is half the satisfaction. I'm not sure if I got hit there. Things got a little bit convoluted and crazy. Our damage is so incredible. I feel like this is a well-balanced run. Like, even though we're doing insane damage, I- oh man, that slowdown is incredible too. Even though we're doing incredible damage, I don't feel like we're overpowered. And I also don't feel like, uh... We're underpowered by any stretch of the... I don't think it's one of those runs where it's basically like, Northern Lion, give you give yourself all of your favorite items, but you can never have more than one heart. Like, I get why those runs are appealing, but you also have to understand why those runs are impossible. I, I'll never be able to do that. Tears up. Okay, that's okay. Um, like, because it just... That means one mistake means the run's over, which I'm going to make a mistake at some point in an Isaac run. That's just inevitable. Uh, runs like this, they kind of have more of a, an active balance without resorting to a, a gimmick like only being able to hold one heart at a time. I'm not saying I won't do some run like that eventually. Oh, I thought I was going to walk on the spikes there for a second. But um, this this is a little bit better because you get the, the the yin and the yang, the good and the bad. You got that great damage, but also uh, there's not you're basically at the behest of the game for whether or not you're going to have enough health to make your way through. So there's an arcade, which is absolutely 100% worth playing. But if I find the boss, which I don't, so that's a moot point. But if I found the boss, I probably just would have gone uh, directly to the boss instead of playing the arcade. But while we're here, we might as well show up, try to win some spirit hearts. Or some regular hearts, either way. I'm cool with that, so we're going to see. I was really hoping that would pay out with two red hearts. Uh, we're going to drop a bomb over here, which should give me at least a half red heart. Ah, full red heart, beautiful. And no payout from the... Uh, fortune teller. Oh, there we go. Spirit art. Excellent. We'll play until we get down to 50 cents, I think. It's always good to, you know, have a limit. Play within it. Nothing there. Just want to watch out for the tick as well, because that could easily ruin the chances for something beautiful that we have going on right here. Well, there's another red heart. So, getting this money. We're going to play one more time. I know I said 50 cents, but hey, maybe he can give me fly love. He does not. Maybe I could blow him up and get a red heart. I cannot, but hey, two bombs. And what do we pick up there? We picked up a spirit heart and two red hearts, which is a fairly good pickup. 
all things considered. But I'm still looking out for that Mom's Heart boss fight. I wish I'd picked up a compass at some point, even though I'm not sure there is any way for me to pick up a compass that would have been legal within the conditions of the, the run provided. Still, a man can dream, can he? There's a little extra health for us, Gertie Jr. My dream here is that Gertie Jr. dies before he gets a chance to hit us. And that's exactly how that shit went down. What's our tarot card? Judgment. Could possibly blow that up later. Or we could wait until... Amazingly dodge that. We could wait until the chest when I'm allowed to pick up any item, I believe. We found the secret room by accident. And we have another tarot card. Hopefully the sun or something. Emperor. Ah, we're gonna save that, actually. And that's the Ankh. What if we reroll it just for fun to get the unicorn horn? Because I can't pick it up. I feel. Um... And we've explored the entirety of this floor now, with one exceptional uh, area. So let's see, we've got Hill is Bombs are Key, doesn't make too much of a difference. We're going to save this Emperor card, possibly use it on the Cathedral. Now, I've explained my reasoning for this before, uh, but the reason that I use Emperor card on the Cathedral as opposed to saving it for the chest is because I feel like getting past the Cathedral is more important because you get the items, you get extra items on the chest that could possibly help you beat the game. Whereas, what, I, what I'm trying to say is if your run's not going super well, there's always the chance that you should use all of your resources to beat the cathedral, because then on the chest you can maybe get epic fetus or something just by random luck. Whereas if you use, if you save your emperor card to use on the cathedral, or sorry, to use on the chest, you might not ever get a chance to use it. Which is, uh, I guess a better way of boiling that philosophy down into a nutshell. We don't have homing bombs this time, so that was a pretty terrible use of uh, a bomb and mom's knife in conjunction with one another. But Monstro represents basically no threat to us, so we're just going to put a bomb here. Again, terrible use of mom's knife. I should just go straight knife style, because there's no... I mean, we're not going to kill every enemy in one hit, but at least I will do more damage overall. I can't tell where I am. Okay, we're alive. We're in permanent bomb state. Mom's heart is dead. We're at full health. We're going to go up to the cathedral. If I could just get in here. I didn't want to go down to Shoal by accident. We're going to use the Emperor card right away. This is going to put us up against Isaac. Dodging is going to be impossible. I'm going to try regardless. The good news is... I can sort of... Force him into shooting and then move quickly out of his area. I've only taken one hit so far, and we're doing crazy damage, of course. Because of all of the devil items we've gotten so far. I uh, do. We've taken three hits. Isaac is nearly dead. We've got so many angel fetuses. Four hits now. There we go. Isaac's dead. Spirit Heart, very useful. Now just keep this up. One more. Beautiful. Okay, we're down to the chest, and we do have the D6, so we can re-roll some of these items. Remember, everything's cool. No restrictions anymore. And these are some good chest items. <laughs> so we get a Tears upgrade from Mom's con uh, Mom's Eye. I thought that was Mom's contact for a second, which would have been better. Definitely Halo of Flies is going to help me see where I am and help me dodge. Rosary just gives me a ton of extra uh, health, and I re-rolled uh, the uh, Telepathy for Dummies to pick up Mom's bottle of pills, but I'm not going to take that. I'm going to save that just in case we get the opportunity to reroll it a little bit later. I'm playing Snake here. Playing Snake? I ended up taking some damage. I had to walk across Creep at some point because I missed a couple of important hits. Anyway, Tears Up will definitely use more Red Hearts, please. PhD, well, PhD combined with the bottle of pills is probably the best thing we could have hoped for. I found pills. Really? That's what you're going to give me on the first set here? Anyway, we'll come down. Who knows? Maybe there's a bad trip pill at some point. Only bad trip I know is in Facade. Anyway, we're just going to stand still for now. I want Pestilence to die first. Then we can always go on Death later. That has actually gone pretty well for us. Okay, so Death has been killed. Now we take out the horse, which should only take two or three hits with a knife. Given the damage that we are dealing to all enemies on a regular basis. There we go, we got another spirit art, that's good news. We've reached a dead end, that's not good news, but not terrible news either. And the chest items may very well, especially the rosary, may very well have sealed the deal for us here on this run. 
and made it possible for success to happen. Well, we shouldn't count our chickens yet, because we do have a fairly difficult fight ahead of us with Dick Pestilence, which just sounds like a great name for a private eye or something, uh, as well as Death. But actually, this, amazingly, fight went better, or has gone better. I shouldn't count my chickens again. Uh, but has gone better than the last Pestilence Devil fight. I guess the secret is just take out the Devil first. Makes your life way easier. We are almost back to full health, and I'm feeling pretty confident now. Remember earlier I said confidence wasn't at an all-time high? Fuck that shit, confidence is at an all-time high. I'm willing to say it. Now there's always the chance that Wrath could actually kill some of these guys for us. It's unlikely, but not outside of the realm of possibility, the Northern Lion story. Wrath is now dead. Now we just gotta take out Greed, my least favorite of the whole bunch. Maybe if I just shoot a bomb in him, that basically worked. Hoppers again, kind of a pain in the dick, but that's okay. Money, who needs it? Can't take it with you. And again, there's a chance that Wrath and Sloth can actually kill... Oh, I got hit there. Can actually kill each other here. Down the secret room. Wrath will die if he stands still any longer. Did I get hit again? I don't think so. Come at me, Sloth. Okay. Tarot card, again, could be really beneficial. Hero font would be beautiful. Emperor is even better. Here we go. I think we're going to make it. I, I would be very surprised if I was to lose this run at this point. Just by, spinning around has worked out fairly well for me. Whenever he hits me, I'm just going to get real close and just spam Mom's Knife. Halo of Flies doing a lot of protection, and we've basically got no chance to lose now. We can just tank it. Well, be careful with that. You can't see yourself, so... You don't want to stand next to him for 30 seconds and forget that you had the knife facing in the wrong direction. Blue Baby is going to be dead with the next hit. And we are going to be... in the Hall of Fame for having succeeded two runs in a row. And hey, I found pills again. Why not? Thank you to Soul Gaming Dude again. Not the fish, not the city in South Korea. The YouTube user uh, for that challenge run suggestion. That was Knight of the Knife. Maybe a little bit overpowered, but there were times when things got very close to uh, the edge for us. But in any case, that was a lot of fun. Please continue to suggest your challenge runs. I look at them and do the ones that I deem most appropriate or most entertaining. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.